and I don't know if it's a thing, if it's a trope in Hollywood, but mm-hmm. when you look at Avatar, the first yeah. one, Michelle Rodriguez played a soldier in there. When, yes. you look, when you look at SWAT with Samuel L. Jackson. Michelle yeah, Michelle Rodriguez. Okay, yeah. here's the thing. Michelle Rodriguez is my queen of badass. Yeah, like, like, like. She's not in more things. If Wonder Woman came out in the early 2000s, she would have mm-hmm. Wonder Woman. Because yeah. she's, she's a badass, bro. She's really short. I think she's like five, six. I think she's shorter than me, even. But I think that's the only negative effect. But again, Resident Evil. She's badass. She badass. Um, serious movies. Serious, yes. Um, hell, in the Oscar winning Clint Eastwood drama about the life of a boxer, she plays as the crazy boxer that, that basically no. breaks Hillary Clank's Swank's neck. That's, that's a movie we need to do. A uh, Million Dollar Baby is a movie yes. that we need. Because that's an Academy Award movie. I remember the first time I only watched it once and I nev- I'll never forget it because... It blew your mind, right? It blew my mind, bro. Uh, it blew my mind. Anthony is in, not Anthony Anderson. Anthony Mackie's in there for no reason. <laughs> like, is that Anthony Mackie? <laughs> yeah, I do know Morgan Freeman is there, but I didn't know that Anthony Mackie is in there. Yeah, the person that Morgan Freeman punches? Mm. Okay, that's back in high school, like this is the early 2000s when it came out, you know? But it's, a, it's brilliant. Like Hil- Hilary Swank is one of the most underrated, brilliant performers of our time. Which is why I'm so sad that she might not be in Cobra Kai. I need her in Cobra Kai, dog. No, no, I think they, okay, yeah. Oh, by the way, <laughs> guys, we're just going to take a mini, 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 <laughs> mini break. Mini break. <laughs> there's news that... <laughs> There's news that Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio are going to be doing a Karate Kid film. That's going to be released next year in December. That's crazy. Right? And we know that Ralph Macchio and William Zepka um, and Martin Cove, you know, and some of those guys were actually pushing Cobra Kai for like, what, four or five seasons? Yeah. Yeah. with with Cholo Mariduena and all those guys, it's really good. Yes. So so, Ralph Macchio used to talk about how characters from the Miyagi verse, he calls it the Miyagi verse, like people that interacted with <laughs> people that interacted with Mr. Miyagi have to be in Cobra yes. because I mean we got Elizabeth Shue back, we got yes. specific certain characters back, right? So Hilary Swank's character has to be in it. Yes, but the fact that Jackie Chan, who was not initially in the Miyagi verse, is gonna be in the film, we're not sure whether it's sort of like someone joked and said it seems like it's a Spider-Man. Ho- um, for, uh, what's this? Uh, not no. from home. Uh-huh. No way home. No way home situation. <laughs> we're two different worlds. <laughs> Louder than the hardest fan Spider fan if he if if she really swank soldier up, dude. And she does the car kick. You know the part where she jumps and she jumps on the hood of the car. That's, that's on, the, on, on the bonnet of the car. <laughs> that was pretty cool though. That was pretty cool. And she just really just sees the potential, man. She yeah. just cut the monk. Like she turns out she went back to that monk place. Do you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah, she was she was there the entire time. She was yeah. with the monks the entire time. <laughs> turns out yeah. she was. Yeah, that would no, be look, like I remember how much of a big deal it was to get Elizabeth Shue back on. Like we waited, bro. So it's mm. like in each season, the people that we really wanted to see, they started coming in slowly but surely. So hopefully, uh, we will see Jackie Chan coming in, but we'll also see Hilary Swank. I think that would be insane. But Don't anyway, that was just something that we needed to. We needed just to <laughs> Cobra Kai, guys, watch it. Please. Yeah. Have you watched it? Of course. Oh, I'm up to date. But now I haven't watched it. What's it? Season six now. It's coming out this year ne? or next year. Oh, are they working on another? Because I remember the, the, the creators were shooting two things at the same time. And I think that's why the last season was not their best. Because they yeah. were they were put under pressure by Netflix to release, you know, like a season back to back type of situation. Mm. That's why it felt a bit too 80s and campy and childish. Well, I wouldn't say, I think they just wasted their characters. Right. 
for example, how are you going to bring back the karate champ as a furniture store owner? Yeah. He do anything. He doesn't really do anything. But like most of the, most of the, the that season, he's yeah. gone. Yeah. He only appears like two episodes before the, the, the final, like just two episodes, the final and the, the, the one just before that. Yes. And there's a what? scene that I didn't like at the end because they were all they were fighting these sub villains or whatever, and you can clearly see that it was a stunt guy that came yeah. in running. You remember that scene? I was like, no, this guy is a is a real martial artist. Why didn't you get someone his size to do that stunt? Then? Exactly. I mean, when you think about the power of season two, versus you know, like they they drop that where they break what you call it's back, dude. Like that's crazy. Like you know what I mean? Um, Whose back did they break? Um, God, Harvey, what's his name? The kid, man. Oh, um, 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 Solomar Duena's character, no? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Miguel, I think. Miguel, yes, there we go, Miguel. Um, the dog, where they kicked him onto the stairs on the, on the rail. Yeah. And, it, and then they make him come back and you just get to see that this man, dog. That, no, no, was, that, that was good writing, bro. That was good, that was good television. And I think they also they also sort of do this thing of we know every season finale the kids come in and fight each other. Yes. Whether it's at a school, whether it's at the Larusa house, whether mm-hmm. the kids just there's just the super duper crazy fight between the yeah. kids. But then I think they put the best fight in the middle when they fought at the Russo's house. I feel like that was the better fight than the final fight. What? I almost huh? the kids what? fighting. Russo's house, yes. Oh. At the Russo's house at night for some reason. And they need to finally settle who she's gonna date. If I don't care at this point if she dates the, the, the what's her name? Russo's kid. At this point, I, I would I would be happy if she dates the black chick at this point. Because I'm tired of her bouncing from guy to guy. It's like decide. <laughs> it goes from love triangle to you are a cheating hoe. <laughs> like, it... You're talking about Samantha LaRusso. Yes, Samantha LaRusso. At this point, you it's either a club because the triangle she keeps bouncing. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But it's what? also the same thing with Taylor though, with the other uh, with her rival. She's uh, also bouncing between Miguel yeah. and so it's just the whole this it's just a whole like polyandry situation happening. <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's so no, 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 no. Settle. Let's get this done. Let's get a relationship, and then you have. Then the job is to try and keep it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> just focus on your martial arts, okay? And yes. Stick to your st- stable relationships, please. <laughs> Shame. And then is Chris still in jail? No, he, he got out. Remember? Yeah, he did get out. You're right. Yeah. And then, thing about Jiggy snitching on um. Ponytail guy, yo, I'm so bad at names. I felt uh, like that was what, what's his a, name in that guy? The the guy who not Eagle was, or that who or, was like Eagle Claw. What's his name again? Yes. Raven Claw or something like that. Who uh, yes. Yeah, he basically because he was bribed, basically. Yes. To try and say that um Hi about Chris, yeah. Yeah, Chris is the one that actually beat him up and whatever. But then when when he confessed eventually. Yeah. Uh, and that somehow led to the guy going to jail forever. And I'm like, no, wait, what's happening right now? That guy has mega lawyers. I'm sure he won't be gone forever. That guy's rich. He's like, like the Luke Luther of that universe. He's just going to, exactly. yeah. No, Terry Silver. Terry Silver is, is rich. He's yes. going to. Exactly. And I love how good his mind games are. Honest to God, when it comes to bad guys and mind games, people fumble the bag. Don't even get me started on Luke Cage. Um, people fumble yeah. the bag all the time. When it comes to clever bad guys. And to me, he was getting to LaRusso like effectively, like it was working. Like that guy was the Joker level, Riddler level, uh, yeah. when it comes to being manipulative and using dark psychology and psychological warfare. What's he was sense? on another level. You see, you see why he is rich. You see why he has yes. Yes. the big house, yes. the, the beautiful oh. woman. Exactly. There's nothing I hate more than rich people that are rich for no reason. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, where it's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a billionaire. I made a billion bucks, but for some reason I'm mentally handicapped. How did this? <laughs> How does that work? You know, it doesn't make sense. Good guy can just 
beat me. And and I also like that because we know that the Karate Kid three is the weakest in the trilogy in the in the in the uh, yes. original trilogy. Yes. But how they retcon it through dialogue. To make it dude of the eighties, like I was high on drugs all the time. And then when you see those scenes. Where they were acting all child overacting, like where, where the actors were overacting those scenes. They're like, no wonder man, he was behaving like this. This guy was high as a kite, bro. All I'm saying is I wish that I who wrote all these things mm. and the 30 years later for Star Wars, The Force Awakens. And I know right. <laughs> right? Then we could understand why Luke was the way he was. It would make more sense. Yes. <laughs> yes. I had yes. thought of the way he's us. This TV show managed to explain time skips in a way that I've never seen before. Right. And also, like, we need to. Okay, guys, we know where this is a serious tangent. I think I'm gonna when I do my time sk- time zoning, I had to mention that this is a Karate Kid franchise rant <laughs> tangent thing. But I just want to say that what these guys did, because these are the guys that wrote Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, right? Are you for real? Yeah. So what they did is they made sure to also even get deleted scene footage and use that to make a story within Cobra Kai. Because there's a scene, for instance, where where uh, what happened? I think either Daniel or or um, or Johnny's Johnny, um, I think they spilled food from each other uh, one of them spilled food they were in the cafeteria and then they spilled the food and something ah yes it's not in the original film yes it's a scene mm-hmm. in the original film so they got these tapes that have been kept in a vault somewhere that have been archived for decades and used that into the story bro absolutely yeah and even martin cove yes yeah. that when they approached him right when they approached him for the role of chris because Martin Cove already understood the character way more than we did as audiences back then, right? Yes. He says when they came to him and told him who Chris was, it was bar for bar exactly what he had in his mind. The whole story about Chris and Silver and, yeah. um, and soldiers getting training and all of that. And he was like, these kids are crazy. Like the fact that they came up with this whole backstory for this character and that's the way he is. That's why he says strike first, sweep the leg. You know, it's because that guy has gone through whatever he went through yeah. in the past. And it, yeah. it makes perfect sense, bro. So metal jacket type shit, ironically. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, my mind right now. So the Harold and Kuma writers are the ones that made Cobra Kai. Yes. And do you know who they worked with? Barney. Um, yes. Patrick uh, Harris. Patrick Harris. It, dude, it all comes back together full circle. I'm telling you. <laughs> so playing Barney, where he's, I swear, he's the first person to ever p- do the description of the Karate Kid from the perspective of the, of, um, he's the, the, he's the, he's the yeah. first um, pop culture character to actually say that on screen, because we were saying it. Yeah, and that's he said, yeah. He was like, Will Zabka is the real karate kid, not that LaRusso kid. Ralph Macchio is not the karate kid. Bill Zabka is the real karate kid. He got that was an illegal kick. <laughs> I don't and, then, think- and then you see, you see William Zabka removing his makeup as a clown. He's like, dude, I'm glad that you actually realized this all along. <laughs> <laughs> William Zabka, oh my god, <laughs> the karate kid, dude. They took that joke seriously and created a five season greatest story TV shows of all time, which is it's so good, bro. It should be put next to Stranger Things, it's so good. Um, and right. it's so funny. there's it's actually YouTube, but YouTube fund- fumbled the bag. Yes, can we speak about that quickly? The first <laughs> two to three episodes of Cobra Kai was on YouTube. I think it was YouTube Red at the time. Yes. No, no. Yeah. The, the, YouTube was for free, the first three episodes. Yes. And were on Red. Were yeah. not on Red. And Netflix took it, funded uh, for season two, 
Yeah, it was even bigger than it was on YouTube. These exactly. guys were on promotional tours. Marketing was crazy. It was big to a point where the characters that you've always wanted to see. I mean, honestly speaking, in my opinion, guys, I'm sorry. We know this is a basic episode. Do we, we have to do a Cobra Kai. We have to do a Cobra yes. Kai. Right? Yeah, we need to go into more detail. detail. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the fact that they got uh, the the Japanese girl ex girlfriend. Dog. And it's like, I love that actress. Dog. And it's like, oh. Yeah, 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 Hiko, Yamiko, or something. That character for me, that is Daniel's perfect woman. Yeah. That should have been his wife. Even yes. Ralph Machio said that. Yeah. He should have come back to Japan. Yeah. They should have been together, bro. And she's so beautiful and so zen and so happy. She is perfect. Dog. She is um, perfect, bro. Like, she would have calmly dealt with the situation, I think. Because I think Daniel's current wife is always like, you know, like, she's like coming oh, at she's the... A real, she's a realist, bro. She's, she's like, this shit is crazy. What is happening right now? <laughs> yeah, I feel like she's the most mature character in that entire show. Like, oh, are you guys going to be, like, kicking each other in my backyard? And just sit, come in, sit down, let's have breakfast and talk about this like adults. <laughs> She's the Jason Bateman of, um, I <laughs> <of> mean, <laughs> what is Arrested Development? She's Jason Bateman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, all the characters that she interacts with in this story, whether it's uh, <laughs> Russo's villains, even Kreese, bro, like, she deals with all of them. Yeah, with logic, all of them. Even the guys in the car dealership, she's the smart, she's the most logical person there. Exactly. Which makes her like, which actually makes her the craziest person there. Because if you're the only person that's sane, then that means you're the crazy one. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you know, like when you're like the Squidward. Yeah. The Squidward is the most sane. Yeah, the older you are, the more Squidward makes sense. <laughs> 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 that is true. That is true, bro. That's even a meme about it. Like, you know yeah. what? The older I am, the more I understand here, this guy. Like, <laughs> you know, you know. Oh, kids and SpongeBob wakes up to go to a, to work at retail to work retail. It's like I'm ready. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you see, so Squidward <laughs> and Eeyore, bro. You, yeah. the, the older you get, the more you understand these guys. Hundred <laughs> percent. Anyway. Okay. Let's go back, guys. Let's go back to basic. Go so back. sorry, guys. So sorry. This part, he'll make a. She make one of those squares that says skip to this to the so and so minute. Part. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna have to do time zone so that if people yeah. want to skip this part, yeah. All right.